Hi there, this is Abhishek and in this video I will talk about how you can create the data ranges manually. So many times we just have the data. So for example like this, we have just the data column uh, for the number of air passengers uh, that has been traveled. So here we have uh, the date values like they have traveled between 1949 to 1960. Generally, we have the data properly formatted like this, but in many cases, we just know that these are the data points that we have and their period information, uh, for example, from 1949 to 1960 period information will be supplied as a header or a separate part, let's say, for example, in an email that you are receiving from the colleague. So in that case, how you can create a time series and then do the time series analysis. We will see in this video so that you can create the date range and assign a date time index to your time series for doing the data analysis work. All right. So for that, first of all, let's go into the uh, Python notebook. And here I have uh, already imported the pandas and imported the file, which is here passengers. It's pretty common data set. Uh, you can easily find it but even if you have some other data set you know you can also use it which is time series data set and probably you can just remove the time part of it from the experiment perspective or if you already have some data set which does not have dates then pretty good to go ahead all right once we have this we'll press Control enter or just shift enter to come on to the next cell and let's see the air passengers dot head here we have same data points 112 118 132 so like this 112 118 all right we have the data set in here now and after that what we need to do is create a date range so dt underscore rng we will use pd dot date range date range method we will give the start date so we know the start date is in the 1949 so let's say 131 1949 generally on the last date the data gets recorded so start date is this and then the end date is uh, 1960 so we will write uh, 12 uh, 31 1960 and it is a monthly so frequency will be month probably you are aware from the previous video that for month you need to specify m for daily you need to specify d for business days that means if you want to reduce the uh, weekend or remove the weekend then you specify b for annual you need to specify a so with that you go ahead and create it and I'll, what i'll do is just i'll print it also so here I have the date range starting from 1949, 1st January 1949 to 1960. So it has a length of 144. And that is the thing we need to make sure that the length of this date range and your data points should match. Otherwise, it will give us an error. And then the next step is to include this date range as an index to the air passengers. So what you will do is you will write air passengers dot set index name of the index which is dt underscore rng and in place is equals to true. So in place is basically saying that uh, make a change into the air passenger data set by adding this date range if you don't specify this or make it false then it will only be visible for this command but it changes will not affect it for the later use in the air passenger so so in such cases where you want the information like indexing to be taking effect into the data set properly for the later use make sure in place is true all right now let's see the head now, as you can see, we have the data set information available. All right. So that's one way of uh, doing a date range. Another way of doing a date range, a simple way is uh, 
let's say pd dot date underscore range and uh, you have you know the start date let's say for example start date is fun 31 1949 but what you don't want is to take an entire data let's say you want to just take the first 100 period so what you can specify is the periods argument which is 100 and then you can specify the frequency which is month so i will just give a name to and print it dt underscore rng2 and now another date range is created until the 1957 because probably that's where the first 100 periods are coming however if you see in our total date range you have 1960 so that's another way i wanted to show you by which you can simply specify the total number of periods because sometimes the data set is huge and you just don't want each and every one but want to specify i want to take 100 points first points or 150 or 50 any number of points apart from that um, in the previous video i have shown you the resample method uh, to change the the data set into the annual or quarterly here also uh, you have the method as uh, as frac so air underscore s engine as frac which is as frequency and we can specify let's say quarterly you want to take it and method is equals to padding is what we want to give as always if you want to know more about the method parameters do shift tap tap and you will get the method and it's all related information and as well as sometimes link is also present in the end to to basically you know uh, show you the information in much more detail like this over here so i will suggest if you are not sure about the queue or method that we are using go ahead and do this uh, review this link so here now we have the values for each quarter so 1957 march 1957 june 1957 september december so that's the final method i wanted to show you about uh, how you can change the frequency and see it in action all right so that's pretty much all i have for you in this video now I'll meet you in the new video the new topic